What's up guys, Shane Starks here. Maybe you have considered changing out your lock on your front door or your back door with a smart lock. Now, if you're a handy person, then this could be an easy task. Just remove the old lock and put the new lock on. The only issue with that is that you would have to replace all the locks on your home as you're having to rekey to new locks. SwitchBot actually has a really great alternative. You can turn your existing dumb lock into a smart lock with their SwitchBot lock system. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the SwitchBot lock. Big shout outs to SwitchBot for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, let's go ahead and take a look at what comes inside the box. Okay, it looks like we have some wet wipes to clean the surface before we install. There's a card here with information on technical support. And then you have your user manual. Okay, next up we have the actual device. This is the SwitchBot lock. This device will fit over your lock and this will be what turns the lock. In this box it looks like we have a few more sizes. That way this is going to be compatible with any lock out there. A few little screws here for adjustments and then you have this magnetic device for the door frame. I think one of the main benefits of this whole setup is you don't have to be super handy or know a whole lot about like construction and stuff. I'm not gonna have to even remove this lock and it's gonna take me about a minute to get the switch bot set up. First up, let's take that alcohol swab that they included and we'll go ahead and clean up this area where we're going to be installing the switch bot. So we'll just give that a good clean. We wanna make sure we get all the dust and grime and anything that would cause our 3M to not stick properly. All right, next up we'll need to choose the correct thumb turn adapter. So you'll just kind of fit these up to see which one fits the best. And they included three here and this appears to be the correct size. So that's the one that we will go with. All right, so next up we're gonna go ahead and install the thumb turn adapter like so. Next up we need to decide the placement. So either this way, or this way, whichever looks like it's gonna work best. So I actually think it's gonna work best this way because we're able to clear the circle this way. So I'm actually gonna clean this up really good since I'm installing it on this side. Next up, we do need to go ahead and adjust the height of this. So you're just gonna pop off this little cover here and then you'll find some screws. Now, the kit did include a screwdriver, it was hidden in there. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and loosen these and slide both of these sides out until we determine the correct height. So for me, it looks like I needed to go up three holes. Now, they do include four extra screws. These are really small and they would be easy to lose. So I like the fact that they did include some extras just in case you drop these and were never able to locate them again. Um, the screwdriver here is, Magnetic, I didn't realize that before. Before you make the final attachment, uh, do make sure that you're able to lock and unlock the door. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and peel the tape and stick this to the door. All right, do make sure not to touch that. The oils will make this not be sticky. All right, then we're gonna line that up. Okay, and we'll press and hold this for two minutes to ensure that that sticks. We do have a few tabs to pull here, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that now. And then we also have this little magnet that goes on the door frame. Next up, we'll go ahead and add the SwitchBot lock to the SwitchBot application. So we'll go ahead and click next since we've got that blinking blue light. All right, you can go ahead and change the name here. I'm gonna call this front lock. I also do have a SwitchBot hub, so I'm gonna go ahead and link this to my SwitchBot hub. That way we can unlock this with Google commands and you can unlock it and lock it from anywhere. So if someone were to come to your house, they give you a call, hey, I need to get in, you can just unlock it from your phone from anywhere. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and calibrate the lock. Okay, this wants us to start out from being manually locked, so we'll click next. Now it says to unlock your door manually. Then tap next. Open the door and lock it manually. All right, so now we are successfully calibrated. We can actually just go straight into the application and lock and unlock the door. All right, from the inside or the outside of the house, which is pretty cool. If you would like to be able to control this with cloud services like Google or Alexa, you're gonna go into the settings, you're gonna go to cloud services and turn that on. 
Then you can follow the steps to get this paired up with Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. Okay, Google, lock the front door. Sure, locking the front door. Okay, Google, unlock the front door. Can I have your pin? Sure, unlocking the front door. So aside from using the application or Google Assist to get your door unlocked and locked, there's even a widget. So you don't even have to open up the application. You can simply unlock and lock your door from the widget on your phone. I think that's pretty cool. There are also several notifications that you can set up within the app. If you're trying to monitor when your kids come home or something like that, this can send you a notification when the lock has been locked or unlocked. This will also give you notification if the door is left open. Um, or if the door is left unlocked, you'll get a notification there as well. Also really like this alert. So it's gonna alert you if you leave the door unlocked or if the door is left open, uh, which is pretty cool. You'll hear an audible beep and then you know to return to the door and open or shut it or lock it. So they also have an auto lock feature, which is really cool. I love the fact that they say familiarize yourself with the function indoors first so that you don't accidentally lock yourself out of the house. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and enable this. We can even set up the time limit for how long it takes for the doors to relock or unlock. I really love this auto lock feature. I'm going to just kind of step outside here and within three seconds, it's gonna automatically lock my door. All right, so now we're locked out of the house. All right, everything's good and locked. And then on my phone, I can just use my widget here to unlock. They also included these little NFC tags, which you can program for unlocking and locking the SwitchBot lock. SwitchBot also sent out the keypad. Let's go ahead and get it set up real quickly. It's just another way that we can unlock our lock. Set up the keypad. Uh, it says to press these two buttons here so we get the blinking green light. Select next. All right, here you'll go ahead and name the keypad. All right, and then it says select the lock that you'd like to pair with the keypad. Earlier I was having issues with this, uh, so do make sure that the keypad and the lock are both on the latest firmware. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out. We'll try this test code and press the OK button. And it is working. All right, so next up, we're just gonna go ahead and install this on the outside and then we will have a keypad, which is great because if we don't have our phone, then we can still get into the house. There are a few ways to install this. I'm gonna use the 3M sticky tape that they've included. So essentially, we're just going to take off the backing here. All right, and then you'll just kind of stick that in place. On the back of the keypad, you'll just line these up with these little holes and then slide it into place and it'll lock into place like that. Now to enter, all I have to do is enter my combo and press OK, and that's gonna unlock the door. And I'm good to go. So a few things really stood out to me about the SwitchBot lock. I love the fact that I don't have to really be handy. I mean, you just simply install this over your existing locks. I'm not having to rekey the house and then go out and make spare keys for all of my family members. Basically everyone that has access to the application can control the lock. Also really loved all the different options for controlling the lock, whether it be through the application, a widget, whether it be through cloud services like Google Assist or Alexa, or just using NFC tags. I really love the fact that it's super easy and simple to control. Also really love the auto lock feature. Just it helps to keep my family safe when we know that the door is automatically locked every time we enter or exit the property. All in all, I think this is an excellent product that anyone could install to easily convert your dumb locks to smart locks. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick yours up to date. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.